that, we bring in Jason Rance, KTTH Seattle radio talk show host. Jason, great to have you back on the program today. Thanks for joining me. So what, what's your take on the ground there about where this thing is heading? Things are much tighter than I think the polls will indicate. I think we've seen tremendous momentum, particularly amongst independent voters, shifting towards Tiffany Smiley. The reason why Patty Murray doesn't want to have a second debate was because the more people that get in front of and actually see Tiffany Smiley, hear from Tiffany Smiley, they are likely to vote for her. And so what Patty Murray is probably basically trying to do is lean on left-wing media here to basically not cover this race honestly and keep Tiffany Smiley from getting in front of voters uh, in a major way. And I think obviously when you do a really good debate performance, it puts the pressure on someone like Murray to actually step it up and she just doesn't have substance. And I think we saw that last night during the debates. Yeah, they they also talked about the issue of abortion. And I was thinking about this this morning, Jason, because we all were sort of led to believe after that decision came came down that it was going to change the dynamic. And I think there was good reason to think that that could be true because we had been told for decades and millions and millions of dollars had been spent to tell the people of America that if this gets overturned, it's going to change life as we know it. It will be so revolutionary and catastrophic. But well, if if this change that we're seeing is true, it tells me that that issue, once it happened, it fizzled after 60 days? Yeah. How is that possible? So I, I think nationally it fizzled. I don't think that's the case here in Washington state. Patty Murray is going on the offensive on this particular issue, trying to paint Tiffany Smiley as a threat to abortion rights, which in Washington state, there is no threat whatsoever. It's easier to get an abortion here than it is to get a cup of coffee. That's how easy it is. And that's not going away. But in Washington state, because it is so deeply blue, particularly in Seattle, if you are telling people that Republicans are evil, that Republicans will go after your right to choose, that does, in fact, motivate folks, even if they know that it's not truly a threat. They're looking on the left for that issue here in Washington state that's going to generate a little bit more interest from Democrats. Because overall, when you're looking at the people who are interested in voting, it's Republicans because they're focusing on the issues that actually matter to them, like crime and inflation. But in a tight race, and we're seeing this across the state, particularly in Washington's third congressional district and the eighth, which one is a relatively safe Republican. The other one is kind of a, a purple district, and we're looking to see if a Republican can pick it up. But when it's that close, I do think it gives a little bit of an edge to the Democrats, which, again, is why Patty Murray doesn't want to get put in a position where she has to talk about anything other than what she is choosing to talk about, which are things that don't really matter to the, the vast majority of voters here. Yeah, and it's interesting to watch with the way the money moves around in these Senate races. And this yep. was a race that people were not putting a lot of money into because they didn't think there was a chance. But now that has changed as we've gotten close. Here, here's, a, here's Patty Murray on defund the police or reimagine the police, as she calls it, I should say, um, earlier in 2020. And, and here she is last night. Watch this contrast. I'm going to keep listening to the people who are at the forefront of these movements, including leaning on the work that's already been done to help reimagine our nation's approach to public safety. Under the American Rescue Plan, we put resources in there for our police officers so they could stay on the job and fight. Subtle uh, changes here in the language around any reimagining of police. Jason, real quick. Please. Yeah, I mean, she's a fraud on this particular issue. She's trying to pretend that crime, particularly in Seattle, is not an issue. And I looked up the 911 calls around a campaign event that she held to make that point. And we had a ton of 911 calls, including a couple hours later, a shooting. Jason Rance, always good to talk to you. We'll see what happens in Washington. It's going to be very interesting as we head into election night. Thanks, Jason. Thank you.